Okay, I wanted to make a video on this, just a short little video on this. I have this keyboard, okay? This keyboard was 200 it was expensive, okay, this keyboard. So I've had a lot of really, really bad problems with this keyboard. Keys, I'll hit one key, and it will, it will actually type like three, two or three times, and that happens on many keys on the keyboard. Now, I wanted to RMA it, but I didn't have my... Um, I did not have my receipt with me anymore because I've owned this keyboard for two years. Some of the keys, I have about 10 keys that have this issue where you type one time and it types two or three letters. And that's an issue. Um, it's a huge issue when you're typing something and it just double types something. So today I'm going to show you how to fix that problem. All right. So. At first, I didn't think that there was a fix for this. At first, I thought I seriously have issues with my keys themselves, and I probably need the key completely resoldered. Actually, no. It was a simple fix. Um, of course, it took me a long time to actually purchase this. It's actually really cheap. This is called silicone lubricant. You see this? It's called silicone lubricant. Now, silicone lubricant is very... Interesting. It's a different type of lubricant than your just everyday average lubricant. So it uses silicone, so which means that it um, it keeps its lubricantness for way longer than redder like normal lubricant. Um, it's just like it's much better than your everyday average lubricant. So you want to get silicone lubricant. All right. You want to get some Q-tips. I have a little Q-tip right here. Um, you want to have a key puller. It came with this keyboard. This is a Corsair K95. You want to lift up the key that has the issue. Um, I don't want to use the keys that are fixed because I don't want to over, over oil them, I guess you could say. Now what you want to do is you want to take the lubricant and you want to put it on the Q-tip like this. Now you're your Q-tip is going to get completely drenched. So you want to get it pretty, pretty much almost completely drenched. Now, what you want to do next is you want to go to the key. You want to get inside the ridge of the key on all four sides inside of the key. So there's this little key on the inside that actually makes the key press. That's called the key switch. On the edges of the keys, if anything gets inside of it, dust, if it gets too dry, um, it will not go down smoothly. And so what this means is whenever you type one time, whenever you press the key down, it will hit the side, the edge of the key um, placement, and it will cause the key to lock up for a second. And that lockup will cause the key to type two or three characters. You want it to type one character. So after you're done, blow into it. You want to blow into it. You want to make sure some of that silicone lubricant actually gets inside the key. Do not be scared of the lubricant getting into the key. That's actually kind of the point. Um, and since it's silicone uh, lubricant, it will not damage any of the components inside of the key. It will not cause corrosion. That's another reason why we use silicone lubricant. Then you want to put the key right back on and give it a minute. It takes a while. Just click it, click it, click it, and let it sit overnight. And um, your whole keyboard, only do this on the keys that are affected. You might have a lot of keys like me. You might have one key, two key. Do it on those keys, just the keys that are affected, and voila, you fixed your problem. And you don't have to bring your one your 150, 100, 200, 250 dollar keyboard back to the manufacturer. That's the whole point of this. Okay, get yourself some cheap lubricant that is only four dollars at Lowe's and fix your keyboard yourself and feel really damn good about it. I love typing. I miss typing. I had this problem with my keyboard where almost all of the keys were having severe problems, and they don't anymore because I fixed it. So I hope this fixes your issue, 
and this video is a little bit long. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching my video, and I'll make another helpful tutorial of the week uh, from now on. And hopefully some of these tips and tricks help other people, because this really, really affected me. I had 10 keys, or like 12 keys, that were just constantly double typing while I'm typing. And it just it bothers the crap out of me. So hopefully this tutorial helped you. And give me a like. Give me a dislike. Tell me that my voice sounds too southern and that it sounds like I fucked my sister. Or whatever the crap. Um, but you have a nice day. And um, hopefully this helped you.